Hey everyone, I hope you're having an awesome day and thanks again for tuning in to Vintage Pokey Openings, a YouTube channel centered around opening sealed Wizards of the Coast era Pokemon products. Before I get into what I'm gonna open today, I just wanna give a huge thank you to the VPO community for hitting 100 subscribers this past week. I never would have expected when I started this channel in June that by the fall I would be at 100 subscribers, let alone approaching 150 subscribers as I speak. So I can't thank you enough for the support. I hope that these videos have given you a little bit of joy and nostalgia in opening some of this old Pokemon product that we used to open when we were kids. And I also know it's been a, a tough time around the world, so I really hope that this has given you guys a little bit of joy and nostalgia to your everyday lives. So to celebrate, we're gonna be opening my first ever Wade Booster Pack. So this is just your standard fossil, unlimited fossil booster pack, but I actually purchased it heavy from eBay. So this booster pack weighed 21.03 grams and ended up winning the auction for about $107, which is less than you would pay for a typical heavy booster pack. And that could be for a number of reasons. Uh, first and foremost, 21.03, while it is uh, still technically heavy, that is not a super, super heavy pack. With these Wizards of the Coast boosters, if you wanna be 100% sure that there's a hollow in there, or at least have your odds be extremely likely that there's a hollow, you want it to be 21.2 grams or higher. 21.0 and higher is still a pretty good chance to have a hollow, but it's not guaranteed. So I'm really hoping that there's a hollow in here. We're gonna take a look and see what we can find. All right, so I'm trying to be as delicate as I can with the hollow foil. This was actually a really clean opening. Got the awesome Aerodactyl pack art there. All right, and I believe that the hollow is the fourth card from the back. I'll tell you what, the centering looks really good on the back of this card so far. I don't see any whitening on the edges. We're gonna put that into a sleeve and keep our fingers crossed that it is a hollow. And we'll come back and take a look at that. All right, so for the commons and uncommons, this is gonna be a weird request, but I'd really like to pull an ammonite uncommon in this. I think it just has a really cool artwork. It should have been a hollow in my opinion. I don't really know why they made Raichu a hollow in the fossil set considering they had Raichu in the base set and considering they also made Kabutops a hollow and Aerodactyl a hollow, it just kind of makes sense for Ammonite to be a hollow. But anyway, we'll see if we pull it. So we have a Seedra, we have a Weezing, an Arbok, a Kabuto, a Mysterious Fossil, a Recycle, a Zubat, a Slowpoke, a Tentacool, and a Shelder. All right, so those were our commons and uncommons. And for the rare, oh, we have a non-hollow Moltres. So that is a really good rare to pull, but it ended up not being a hollow, unfortunately. So there you have it. Just like I said, um, you're not guaranteed a holographic card if it is 21 grams or higher. There's a good chance, but it's not a guarantee. So next time, maybe I wanna make sure that I purchase a 21.2 gram or higher pack. But in looking at this, I mean, the centering is pretty good. It's a little bit skewed to the left but there's no whitening on the edges at all. The back of the card is flawless, so I'll probably still get this graded, even though it's not a holographic. So anyway, thanks for tuning in today. I'm gonna be opening a Lightning Bug Base Set 2 theme deck next, so keep an eye out for that video here in the next week or so. Thanks again for reaching 100 subscribers with me, and uh, have a good rest of your day.